The fashion industry has an expensive problem that's led to billions of dollars of revenue burned annually, creating piles of textile waste and releasing millions of tons of carbon emissions. If you're like Anthony here, you're probably thinking, wait, that's ridiculous. What's this problem and shouldn't we be fixing that? My name is Anthony Kwok. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders at Zillia. You'll be happy to know that entrepreneurs are hot on the case. Fixing e-shopping is massive, returns problem. It's like a trillion dollar problem. Once we solve this problem of the sizing and fit and no one has any uncertainty about how anything fits online, it's going to be like the whole floodgates of the online shopping. It's actually, I believe that Zillia is going to be at the forefront of that tidal wave. And this is how they're catching that wave. So, first question, what is Zillio and the reason for its creation? When we all shop online for clothes, it's like rolling the dice with, with the sizing, right? No one has any idea how anything's going to fit, unless you really know the brand well, but any brand outside of that, it's just a guessing game. So what Zillio does, our platform lets shoppers see exactly how clothes will fit on their bodies with their own 3D Zillio avatar. And our platform directly plugs into online fashion label stores. Imagine a world where you easily reference your size and an online seller shows you exactly how their clothes will fit you. Suddenly there would be no guesswork. Instead, you could focus on finding good clothes that make you feel comfortable. In this world, you wouldn't need to repurchase clothes to find a better fit. You'd feel better in what you already own. You'd also waste less of your time and fewer resources from businesses. Guess what? The Universal Online Changing Booth has arrived. And it doesn't even need the metaverse. So next to the Add to Bag button, there'll be a Try It On button. And once you click that, you'll be able to see your avatar and, and all the different fit measurements of every single size in the body. And the reason why we're doing this is because this problem, the uncertainty around the sizing and fit, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, right? For, for shoppers, obviously you get a really bad experience. Like most people don't shop online because they want to avoid the hassle of returning things or if you're lazy like me, I'll just use it as a tablecloth. I won't even return it, right? It would just be gathering dust in my wardrobe. So there's the shopping side of things, but on the business side of things, it's like a trillion dollar problem. Like businesses are bleeding out, like online fashion stores, they're bleeding through their profit lines because of this. Like this. Up to one in, you know, one in three of everything bought online is returned. But in terms of the conversion rates, it's super low. It's only 3% of all online traffic is actually converted to a sale. And we know that also sizing and fit is the number one reason behind most of those things as well, if not all of those things. So we're kind of trying to combat this by just letting people see exactly how close to fit in a virtual way when they shop online. Describe a Zillio milestone that you're most proud of. We are in the top 20 out of 1,500 fashion technology startups in the world to go in for election day at Milan, Milan Startup Bootcamp. They're backed by like Prada, Armani, Valentino. We got in last year, but the timing wasn't right for us. And last year we didn't even have a product. And so for us to beat like over a thousand fashion technology startups to go into this thing, it was massive. And then now we get the opportunity this year and we're, we're going from top 20 and we're trying to go for top 10 into the actual program. So how does Zilio plan on integrating with the fashion community? We're going to launch into fashion labels at the start, right? And that's how, that's how we're, we're a B2B business anyway. So we'll be launching into fashion labels and then through that we'll be exposed to their in customer base for potential users on Zilio. So we'll grow that, grow that network like that at the start. But after a while, once we have a big enough range of fashion labels, we want to turn Zillia into an online shopping platform that will connect online shoppers to the fashion brands that we're partnered up with, with Zillia's virtual fitting room embedded in all those brands for the shops to use and creating like a little community like that. And how are you hoping to impact the e-commerce industry with Zillio? So we know that online shopping is blowing up. We also know that sizing and the, the uncertainty around the sizing and fit problem that we're solving is holding back the entire industry from actually reaching its potential. Remember that waste issue we talked about before? Clothing retailers lose around $90 billion in annual revenue because of this sizing nonsense. There are actually a lot of other consequences too. 
for example, clothes that get returned are often not considered to be in suitable condition for reselling, so they get sent to the landfill, which creates about 5 billion pounds of textile waste and 15 million tons of excess carbon emissions. So you have the ability to grow into what it's actually been growing into so far, even with this massive problem holding it back. So we believe that once we solve the problem, it's going to open the floodgates, and we believe that Zillia is going to be at the forefront of that tidal wave. Finally, Anthony, what are your top pieces of advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? Consume as much content from your role models or from ex-founders, you know, or experienced people. As much content as you can from them, like watch YouTube videos, read blogs, meet them in person, go for coffees, find whatever piece of goodness that you can out of them that you can see you know, yourself kind of adopting those beliefs and absorb the hell out of all those. And I'd say leave your ego at the door and be really, really coachable. Especially if you're a first time founder, but even if you're not a first time founder, show up as a white belt every day. 